News 7 continues with more of our in-depth reporting on a big issue. The big issue today, the fight for FBI headquarters. So here's the deal. The FBI headquarters has been at the J. Edgar Hoover building in downtown D.C. for 48 years. But that building has fallen into great disrepair. It's, it, it's falling apart. So for the past 13 years, there's been political posturing about where the new FBI headquarters should be. D.C. is out of the equation. It's only between Maryland and Virginia. Well, about 1 o'clock today, I caught up exclusively with Maryland Congressman Steny Hoyer, who says today's meeting is not the last call on this decision. Listen. Outside of GSA headquarters here on E Street with Maryland Congressman Steny Hoyer, did I, did I hear you correctly that GSA is going to go back to the drawing board, re-review the criteria, and potentially change the weighting? Uh, that was my impression, and I think that's what they said. They didn't say they were going to change it. They didn't say, you know, we convinced them. But what they did say was we had raised many, many issues that they thought were very important uh, and that they were going to back, going back, as the Congress anticipated and, and instructed them to do, have consultations and reassess whether or not uh, the process is a fair one uh, for all the participants. So we had gone in today to thinking that this was going to be the final meeting. From what I took from what you said, there's going to be more. I think so. And I've made it clear to the administrator, Ms. Carnahan, that consultations are not just one meeting. Consultations are discussion back and forth. We made, I think, some very salient points. Number one, we believe that Maryland uh, wins on four of the five criteria. Unfortunately, the fifth criteria, being close to uh, Quantico, or other FBI facilities, clearly Maryland cannot possibly meet that. We can't be closer to Virginia than Virginia and is. Why to is Virginia. it weighted so high when compared to cost? Uh, my own view, and this is just a personal opinion, is because uh, uh, the FBI decided that it would rather move to Virginia uh, than to move to some other sites, and they knew we beat them on cost, they knew we beat them on equity, and they knew we beat them uh, on siting. Uh, uh, transportation, we beat them. That's a closer question on transportation. They have access to Metro. Ours is closer. Uh, and I think we're closer to a lot of hubs, of, uh, but that'll be a relatively competitive. But on the three, uh, they cannot uh, beat us. So they had to wait. Uh, So-called mission of the mission of FBI is not to be close to another facility. The mission of the FBI is to protect the American people, to protect our Constitution, uh, and protect uh, us from uh, foreign. Uh, intelligence agencies uh, and terrorists. Yeah, to that point, Congressman Ivey had told us you don't pick up the Pentagon and move it closer to West Point exactly. because of proximity. Yeah, which was a great line. Congressman Connolly, your friend across the river in Virginia, has made the allegation somehow that Maryland has, quote unquote, his words, cooked the books in this. And he's going back to the uh, decisions that were made in the appropriations omnibus bill in December that called for these meetings to happen. How do you respond to that allegation? Because cooked on the, the one books. on the one side, it's cooked the books. On the other side, you went to bat for Maryland and, and, and got Maryland a, a better chance. Let me talk about cooking the books. It was not, I've been at this since 2009. For 13 years, Quantico was not mentioned as a necessary uh, consideration in this process. 13 years. In September of 22, GSA comes out with its ratings and they make Quantico 35% of the decision. Who's cooking the books? Now, I don't allege that Virginia cooked the books, but I believe that FBI uh, made a determination they'd prefer to be in Virginia and prefer to be in more convenient locations. That's not what this is about. If anybody cooked the books, it was GSA and FBI. Final question, when is this decision going to happen? When well, do you I expect it? I don't think we know the specific time on that because I think they're gonna go back and I think we raised uh, very good issues. Everyone spoke, everyone made a point on the five criteria that were uh, put forth by GSA. But before September 30th, for sure, because of the way that the money's already been appropriated to whatever site No, no, wins. no, we're gonna need a lot more money. It's a very expensive, it's the biggest project in GSA's history. So not necessarily a decision before September 30th? I don't know that, you know, I, I hope we get to it uh, as soon as possible. And I think if they make the decision on the merits, we'll win. And we think cost is a more important item. We think siting, uh, we think, uh, for availability for development at an early time so it doesn't cost more time, cost more money. Uh, but what we said was everything would be considered equally. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. And they were receptive. That's not, uh, well, we'll see. Uh, but that's certainly not cooking the books. 
The books were cooked when they made 35 percent the criteria of being close to Virginia. Congressman Hoyer, appreciate your time. You Thank bet. you, sir. Thank you.